Hey Panthers, I'm Jeffrey Fillmore. And I'm Charlie Hubbard. Welcome to Panther News. Do you know what month it is? No, not just November. It's Native American Heritage Month. Let's learn more. Hey Panthers, it's November already and during this month we celebrate Native American heritage. Here are different ways we can celebrate and honor the month and pay respects to the Native American community. Black Friday is just one day after Thanksgiving. Instead of spending all your money at Amazon, consider spending some at Native owned businesses or even donating to charities. It's a great way to support the Native American community. As you know we celebrate Thanksgiving on the last Thursday of every November. This year as Americans, we should look at Thanksgiving as an opportunity to be, go beyond the harmful Pilgrims and Indians narrative and focus on common values such as generosity, gratitude, and community. A great way to learn about Native American history and culture is to read a book by a Native American author. Tommy Orange, Louise Edrick, and Stephen Graham Jones are just a few among many of the Native American authors you can read work from. I hope everyone finds a way to honor Native American heritage during this month. Now that you know about Native American Heritage Month. Hello Panthers, I'm Caleb Bruce. Yes. Hello Panthers, I'm Caleb Bruce. And I'm Charlie Hubbard. Welcome to History Today. Today in 1860, Abraham Lincoln was elected to be the 16th President of the United States. Abraham Lincoln was one of our most fondly remembered presidents. He was known for preserving the Union and getting rid of slavery in the United States. Also today in 1879, Canada celebrated their first Thanksgiving Day. Canada holds Thanksgiving to celebrate the recovery of the Prince of Wales from an illness in the same year. Today in 1913, Mahatma Gandhi was arrested for leading an Indian miners' march in South Africa. This was to protest segregation in South Africa. Gandhi then led a passive resistance campaign which gained thousands of followers. On this day in 2005, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, the fourth film based on the books by J.K. Rowling, premiered in London. The film went on to become the most successful film of the year, earning almost $900 million. Do you know what International Day it is today? No, what day is it, Charlie? It's my favorite International Day for preventing the exploitation of the environment and war and armed conflict. Woo! Well then, that's all for your history today this week. Now back to my favorite news hosts. Your books are now on sale. Let's learn more by watching Fletcher scream at us. Oh, hi there! Buy a yearbook! They're only $65! And they stay $65 until November 13th! Go to JostensYearbook.com to order your yearbook today! That's J O S T E N S Y E Y E A R B O O K dot C O M. Buy a yearbook and cherish your high school memories forever. Thirty, uh, sixty, sixty-five dollars. The English department is offering a Saturday boot camp this Saturday for all students who need to take the English 1 or 2 EOC in December. Please scan the QR code in your English teacher's room to sign up and you'll get free Chick-fil-A for lunch. You can also attend tutorials after school. Check with your English teacher for more info. It's hot outside. Almost as hot as me. Antonio and Xavier have our five-day forecast. We have six feet apart. That's why we don't have masks on. Make sure if you're walking around the school or at any events, you're following COVID-19 guidelines and pulling up that mask. This Saturday is going to be a high of 73 and a low of 61 and partially cloudy with a chance of meatballs. Why did I say that? On Saturday there is a high of 75 and a low of 62, partly um, cloudy, and the sun's going to be there. Monday is going to be a high of 77 and a low of 54 and 40% chance of thunderstorms. So uh, wear an umbrella. Tuesday is going to be a high of 57 and low of 39. It's going to be raining, so watch out for flying low to ice. <laughs> Wednesday is going to be a high of 57 and a low of 42. So it's going to be hot, I'm telling you. Freezing hot. 
Panthers. That's it for Lady. Thanks for watching Panthers, and make sure to tune in next week. So you can listen. So, tune in next week! Tune in next week! Do you want to serve your school and give back to your community? If you want to join or learn anything about everything you can about being involved in, listen to this. Uh, do you ha oh. Do you want to be more involved with the school? Oh. The student council is now taking new members. In the student council, you will be able to take part in virtual pep rallies, class elections, homecoming, poor week, dress up days, and Mr. MHS. If you are interested, go scan the QR code by the counselor's office or speak to Mrs. Dowd in room 110. They have meetings monthly and are involved in special events. Contact Mrs. Dowd or a class officer to find out the meeting dates. Go to and go Panthers. Do you have a family member that served in the military? We want to recognize them. Fill out the form in the Panther newsletter later today. We will be highlighting all military connected to our staff and students next week during our special Veterans Day Panther News. Now let's go to Caleb with the sports. Hey Panthers, we have an MHS Swimming Student Activity Club now. All students are invited to join and dues are $20. Please contact Coach Rollins if you have any questions. Tonight, volleyball will host their final district home match against Cleburne. Varsity will play at 5 p.m. and the JV and freshman teams will play at 6.30 following the completion of the varsity match. You have the opportunity to get in free to this Friday's game. It's simple. Bring a new unwrapped toy to the game and your entry fee will be waived. The toy will benefit the Manor House of Midlothian as part of the annual MHS toy drive. The JV Blue Team hosts district rival Burleson Centennial and came away with the victory, 42-7. Big offense nights from Drew Wendell and Cole Martin, and the great O-line had the Panthers scoring at will in the second half. The blue defense was led by Torrey Evans Jr. with an interception and a great D-line stopped the Spartans' running game. The JV White team played Arlington Martin last night and was also victorious with a score of 40-6. The offense was led with scores by Chad Ragel, LJ Adenirian, and Race Woosley. The defense stopped the Warrior running game most of the night led by Corbin Griffin and Riley Hampton. The varsity football team will be on the road tonight playing Centennial High School at Elk Stadium. Kickoff is at 7 p.m. To purchase tickets, please visit the MISC Athletic social media pages. Our boys and girls varsity cross country teams will, com will be competing in their regional meet on Monday at the Jesse Owens Memorial Complex. The girls run at 2 and the boys follow at 2.30. Wish these athletes good luck if you see them. Good luck me. Make sure if you are attending any of these events that you follow the COVID-19 guidelines. Back to you at the news desk. Thanks, Caleb. Please check your Canvas daily for announcements and assignments from MHS guidance. And be sure you are checking your school email. Wear your ID around your neck, not in your backpack and not in your pocket. And wear your mask correctly, covering your mouth and nose. We'll see you uh, all back on Monday. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media at Midlow Media for all the updates. Go to and go Panthers.